Howdy crafters, it's Kathy from Rust Paper Scissors. First of all, I wanted to say I hope everybody is healthy and safe and happy. And I wanted to bring to you today a special project. It is a summer themed altered file folder. And I'll talk about the folder at the end, but I just did want to mention that it is nine and a half by nine and uh, the fabric that I used on the folder is a vintage tablecloth that my mom used when I was a little girl so I guess I'm vintage and it just it just holds some some special memories for me we um, took summer vacations every year we had access to an Airstream travel trailer and for seven years in a row we went to Florida. A lot of good memories. Lots of uh, cookouts in the backyard. Lots of picnics and just so many memories and this tablecloth was part of it and so I wanted to use it to uh, make a special way for you to remember your summer and document it. Inside there is a traveler's notebook and then there are two inserts there is a policy envelope and I believe two small file folders and um, we'll go through each one of these. I first wanted to mention that uh, this is a little rusted bulldog clip. I sell these in my shop and then I added some tags. You could use these tags on this project or for another project. But There's a little ampersand, summertime, bucket list, and then memories. So let's go inside and look at the Traveler's Notebook. I don't know if I've mentioned before, but I am more of a list maker than I am a journaler. So I am always interested who came, what did they bring, how much did it cost, where was it, what was the weather like. So I, that's how I think as opposed to journaling. So this Traveler's Notebook is a very blank journal for you to embellish how you choose. Uh, normally I close my journals with the bulldog clips but this one was a little too chunky and it didn't work so uh, I added some sari silk and then the front is just uh, a dictionary page and then this beautiful uh, flower calendar, a garden calendar and then it's also a tuck spot or a pocket and then inside is uh, a quote that says, Family, a group that dreams, laughs, plays, and loves together, whom you can always count on, that are always present, not only in the good times, a precious gift. And I thought that's very true. That's, that's what family is. And so I have that in there. And then inside, all the pages are tea dyed so I won't always say that and again a lot of them are blank so I just not going to say that every time. Uh, on the cover I added this little library pocket and library card and then this uh, quote summertime and the living is easy and I thought that was really pretty. And then this is just a dictionary page it has a metal rim tag and I cover those with um, pages and those are for sale in my Etsy shop. I did a little stenciling, a little honeycomb. Uh, there is kind of a bee theme throughout the journal, so you'll see a lot of, of bees. And then it was just uh, kind of, that helps you pull, so you save on the um, paper, because it is a little bit fragile. It is an older book. And then ah, the next page is um, just some uh, dyed graft paper and then some ledger paper. And then this is just a tag that's a tuck spot and it says document. And then inside the journal, I have several different definitions of summer from several different dictionaries. And so this one just has summer, summer cottage, summer flounder, summer salt, summer school, summer school. So just different, different things of summer. In the back, you could journal and you could say, the definition of your summer. What was what was your summer? So that's that's there, and then this is just uh, some manuscript music manuscript paper, and then I made a tag that's just plain. It's uh, some lace, 
Actually, I think it was a napkin that, a paper, a, a linen napkin that I added to that tag. And then this is just, these are the other definitions of summer. Um, it was like, again, summer, summer house, summertide, summertime. And then this one, summer, a hot season. And this one, summer, summer house, summer sausage. So just, I thought it was fun to see all these different definitions of summer. And so I have those in there. And then this is just a little um, envelope, and I stamped Be Happy on there, and so I stamped Summer. And then this is some ledger paper from the early 1900s, and this is naturally aged uh, spots. I didn't change it or do anything, so I left that pretty blank. And then it would be a good place to journal or a blank place for pictures, that type of thing. But it, then this paper, it's very thick, it's very sturdy, so um, uh, I like it a lot. I love to use it. And then this is, again, another definition of summer. It is, again, helps you open the page. I stenciled some roses on there. So that's that page. I have trouble with these pages. And then this is the other part of that graft paper. Again, I added a metal rim tag with some uh, matte paper on there and that just helps you open it up and it does that and then our ledger paper and then this was just some writing paper and a little metal rim tag that says details you could tuck something up under there if you wanted a picture or photograph but a place for you to tell all the details and then again the manuscript paper this is the other part of that ledger paper I added a um, little fabric swatch. I added, a, I stamped a flamingo. I added a ribbon crimp. I sell those in my shop, the little rusted ribbon crimps. And then I added this uh, Tim Holtz uh, tag. It says happy. So uh, we have that. And then at the center of my signatures, I normally put a envelope and that hides the strings. So I did here, and this is just a piece of um, tracing paper that I had printed on, and then inside is a seed packet, and it's blank for you to journal on, and then inside is several different journaling cards. A pear, it looks like raspberries and blueberries, a lemon, and again they're blank on the back, and then some cherries, and then this was just a tag that I stamped the um, mason jar and then just some wildflowers. So we, we have that, and I'll put that up later. And then uh, just some more pages. And then on this one I stamped a bicycle. It's kind of all the memories of summer. And then this is another part of the dictionary page. And on this one... I um, stamped the mason jar onto some vellum, and then I stamped several of the wildflowers, and then I embossed them so they're a little bit more sturdy, and they're a little bit shiny. I don't know if you can see it, but you can see the stems through the vellum, and I really liked that and thought that was special, helped summer, and then again, just the, live, the ledger paper. Then this is an altered paper clip. I sell the rusted paper clips in my shop. This was just some more of that linen napkin. Then the rusted um, ribbon crimp and then just a little charm. And it, you could change that. You could put that somewhere else or a different project if you wanted. And then this page is another, it's a layered tag and it's a tuck spot and just uh, helps you open up the page. And Then this is some more of that tea-stained graft paper. I added the little butterflies, a little pull, pull tab. And um, then on this page is some more of the dictionary paper. I added a little B and then I stenciled some honeycomb stencil underneath that. And so that's, that's that. But again, it helps you open the page up. And then this is the last page in the book. It is tea stained tracing paper, and then I added a tag, and it has a little B on there, and I added the word discover. And so I'm not going to say the, black is, the back is just blank.
So that's the traveler's notebook. Okay, then here in the front pocket, I'll pull all this stuff out and we'll show you all together, but um, it is several different pieces of um, things for you to use. This is just a policy envelope, and I added the button and string closures. I sell these in my Etsy shop. It's just a metal rim tag that I add string to, and then I add some foam tape on the back, so it's a little dimensional. I don't know if you can see that, but it makes it easy for you to uh, use the button and string closure, and they're a little bit more sturdy than just cardstock. So I really like those. So I sell a variety of those in my Etsy shop. Then inside I added several different tags. And um, the first one is a bunch of little icons. I think I got this from Bo Bunny at uh, Tuesday morning. But it's just like a little, pic a little picnic table, a tent, the sun, Wi-Fi. If you're traveling, I guess Wi-Fi is important. A camera, uh, the tropics, if you go to the tropics, and a little passport. You could use those in this journal or you could save those for another um, project, but I thought those were cute. And then um, something else, I was trying to find a vintage font, and there is a website called Dafonts, it's D A F O N T S dot com, and they have free fonts. <laughs> almost every font you'd ever want. It's great, they're easy to download, and then they go into like, um, I, I use them out of my my Excel folder, but um, you could also use them with your Cricut machine. I know it goes into a Cricut machine, I don't know about other machines. But I was looking for vintage fonts, and I found this font, and when you typed a letter, it gives you kind of like a vintage image. And so this one was, um, just looks like a, little, a girl at the beach, and uh, or she's waving at somebody. And then this one looks like just a couple that is um, chilling out. They got their sunglasses on, and so I thought that was cute. There's supposed to be another one. Is there another one in there? I guess, I guess not. Maybe it's at the back. Well, I guess I lost it. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Bear with me. It was just the girl diving, and she has a bathing cap on, so it just looks vintage. So we have those. And then I didn't talk about the summer holidays, but I left some um, ideas or prompts for you. Memorial Day, kind of the beginning of summer, then the 4th of July, and then uh, Labor Day, kind of the end of summer. So I, I have those, and you could use those in the Traveler's Notebook, or you could use it in another project. So that was just an idea that I had a way to document how your summer goes and what you did. And then another thing I did was um, I um, made an insert and I titled it Picnics. Now, the beauty of these is you could change these. You don't have to use these papers or um, the, the, the title page. You could change it up. You could make it your own. But what I did was Picnics. And then uh, there's 10 pages, and there's five different picnics you can journal about. And I added, with my little label maker, I added date and time, guest, menu, location, and weather. Again, that, those are the things that I'm interested in when I, I like to list things. And then there's always a blank page for you to journal about the event. And then so there's just five of these that you can um, journal on. And so, like I said, you could put that into the, the traveler's notebook. You, you could stand alone in the front of your um, file folder. And then the other things were I made a couple of um, small mini file folders. And this one, I just put the dog days of summer and then, again, a rusted ribbon crimp. And I added two metal rim tags, a little B and Be Happy. And then inside is just notebook paper and about five pages and so that's a little insert and then this is a file folder and I sell these in my Etsy shop I these come with um, a metal prong fastener and so it, they usually come with a spine too and it's about three sixteenths of an inch 
and it just accommodates the pages if you wanted to add things to it and then what I did this file folder I made it like a top 10 and then I added a quote on the front and it says we didn't realize we were making memories we just were having fun and I believe that's a Winnie the Pooh quote so I just I love that and then inside again the metal prong fasteners I sell those in my shop I sell the file folders I sell them as sets if you want and then this was just uh, 10 pages that I numbered and you could uh, journal on or you could talk about your top 10 for your summer and then the last item here I sell these in my Etsy shop. This is called a road trip insert, and it just talks about what was your itinerary, and then what was the top 10 of your trip, and then what transportation, maybe what it cost, the tickets if you flew somewhere, or gasoline if you, you know, kept a running total of how much gasoline you spent. So that's transportation. Then hotels, it talks about the hotels you stayed at, and then meals, and you could write down some memorable meals. And then um, this one has a pocket on the back, and then I added another one of those vintage images from the defaults that just looks they look like they're on vacation. So I added that, and um, that is that. And then back to the file folder, I wanted to talk a little bit about. Um, I added, I sell these. They're called D ring. Uh, fasteners and it's just a way for you to add maybe a tassel or some beads or just something to your journal and uh, so I added this tassel and the colors that I thought went with the front and then I let's see I'm not sure if the lighting in here is kind of crazy uh, but I added the word summer and these are small metal rim tags and they have been tea stained and then I added the letters and then I embossed them and I think they look like old typewriter keys. I also do the ones that have not been tea dyed so they're white and they look kind of like French enameled numbers so I sell these in my Etsy shop and I like them. I thought that looked, looked great. My family helped me pick out how we decorated the front and then again I talked about the um, bulldog closure and that's just it so I just wanted to uh, bring you this I hope you'll take a look and uh, if you're interested it will be for sale in my Etsy shop which my Etsy shop is rust paper scissors and I will leave the link below in the description and I just hope you all have a great rest of your day. And I hope you have a great summer. Thank you.